Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, I am D-Laps, and I'm here to review... Friday the 13th, no! Part no! 2. Right at the beginning of this movie, they do a montage that shows you what happened in the first film that carries over into this one. Even if you haven't seen the first film, it makes you feel like you know the backstory before part two even starts. It's supposed to be five years into the future of the original film, and the original character that survived in the original film is alive doing her thing, but she doesn't last too long. Now, this one is about a whole new group of kids that go to the camp, and they hear a real spooky story around the campfire. Now, if you listen to the old timers in town, they'll tell you he's still out there. Some sort of demented creature. For young blood. When Friday the 13th became a massive hit, they pulled the sequel out of their ass so fast man it shows because the death sequences are not nearly as elaborate or interesting as they are in the first movie. Uh, these guys couldn't have done a better job. I mean, it was a 30 day, low budget, million dollar uh, production. I think the reason that this movie is not as gory as the first one is because the rating board wanted to set an example and they cut this movie down so they can get the R rating. But I do think that this one has way more jump scares than the original. And also, they're introducing Jason for the first time. Are you telling me there's some totally deranged dickless dude running around out there? Yes, he's in the woods and he's stalking with a potato bag over his head. He doesn't have his mask yet. That doesn't happen until part three which I have a review on, on my channel if you want to check it out. So since this is the first time you're actually meeting Jason in the franchise, his character isn't really mapped out yet, so he's just kind of some deranged weirdo in the woods. To be honest, the Jason Voorhees that we all know and love doesn't really happen until Friday the 13th Part 6. Also in Part 2, Jason is motivated more by his mother's death. That's referenced a lot by seeing her decapitated head and the ending sequence, where the last survivor in a desperate attempt puts on Mrs. Voorhees' shirt to try to trick Jason. And in the later sequels, Mrs. Voorhees is practically never mentioned anymore. Now before I get my second opinion from my good buddy Redneck, I would just like to say that the cast is great in this movie, especially the female leads. I would say majority of the men are kind of like the comedy relief and the women do more of the dramatic and suspenseful scenes. So I shall rate this an 8 out of 10. It is good, but it's definitely not the best. So now my good friend Redneck is going to give me a second opinion on this wicked movie. Take it away, good buddy. Howdy folks, I'm the Redneck Gamer, and I'm here to give my two cents on the second Jason movie. So, let's go. Firstly, I have to address the big retcon that was made in this movie. In the first Friday the 13th film, it was established that Jason had drowned, but apparently, according to this movie, he didn't, seeing that he's alive and killing people. Not to mention, in the first film, it can be assumed that Pamela, Jason's mom, was being guided by the spirit of Jason. Kill her, mommy. Kill her. Don't let her live. Well, maybe she was just having a psychotic episode. Believe it or not, this retcon has been explained through a six-issue comic book titled Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash, wherein it explains that Pamela somehow came into possession of the Necronomicon, which would kind of explain its appearance in Jason Goes to Hell, and she uses it to resurrect Jason. How the hell she knew how to use it is beyond me. Maybe it came with instructions. Anyway, I'm a horror movie geek, so pointing that stuff out and explaining it is my forte. But as far as my thoughts go on this film, I thoroughly enjoyed it. This is where the franchise really got its strides. Oh sure, the first movie is where it all began, but this movie is where the formula started. The first Friday film was more or less of a suspense thriller with a little gore thrown in for good measure. Friday the 13th 2, on the other hand, is a straight-up slasher movie. Jason may not have his signature mask yet, but he's still one hell of a killer. 
Throughout the movie, Jason manages to nab himself nine victims, a pretty high number for his first go-around. Also, this film establishes him as a stealthy killer, kind of like a ninja. Most of his prey won't even know he's there until they're dead. The film also has a nice little eeriness to it all. You get the feeling of uneasiness when watching the movie. Sadly though, this and the first movie would be the only times that those elements of eeriness and uneasiness would be used for a Jason film. Granted, that's inevitable. When you have a series like this, you'll only reach that high once. And in the films that follow, you can only hope that the creators will at the very least keep the subsequent movies entertaining. And believe it or not, they managed to kind of do that with this franchise. Oh, there were some stinkers here and there, but for the most part, the Jason films are good. And if you're a newcomer to the series, then I implore you to watch this in the first movie before you watch any of the other Jason flicks. One day in the future, I don't know when, I'll do some reviews proper for the Jason movies. But until then, I'm gonna just give this film an early grade of G for good. And that goes for the first movie as well. Both simply good and well-made horror features that didn't peak the franchise too early. I hope when Dylan gets to Jason 8, he'll let me give my opinions on that one. That's my favorite in the entire series. I freaking love Jason Takes Manhattan. Okay then, everybody. Now back to D-Laps. Thank you very much, Redneck, for that awesome review. Also, to let everyone know that I just did a review with Redneck on his channel, Super Mario Brothers. There's a link in the description. Please check it out. It's really awesome. Now, if you're curious, I did do a review for part three of Friday the 13th. You'll see this box right here. Push that box and you'll get to see the review. I also did part seven right there. Push that box. You'll see part seven. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, guys. <laughs>